you are an amazing guy. I mean, I, I applaud you. As, in fact, people always say to me, who are, who are people that you think have gone through adversity and risen and all that? You're one of those people to me. I don't even know how, as a child, that you were able to concentrate on guitar mm -hmm. and play the guitar with your background. Do you know anything about Dave Navarro's no, background? No, I do not. You, you, uh, if I can bring up some of your tragedy sure, without, sure. You, without just turning into a, a telethon. No, no, absolutely. Your uh, mother was killed yeah. oh. at an early age by a guy who raised you. It was a guy who that she was dating, right. and I wouldn't say he raised me. I think that that guy got lost in the translation. He lived with he you for a while. He just to be yeah. living with right. you at the time. No, and, and truthfully, truth be told, he was, um, you know, I did trust the guy. Right. And I was close to him. Right. You know? and, and why not? I mean, you have How two options. How old are we talking? Uh, I, was, I was 15. Right. Mm -hmm. 15 years old, his mother was taken away from him. Wow. Yeah. Your parents were divorced. Yeah. But it was a violent uh, kind of thing? Yeah. Y your mom was murdered. Yeah, yeah. And your mom was this beautiful woman. She was on The Price is Right. Yeah. I mean, she was doing well. Yeah, she was. She was. Um, it was actually my mother and my aunt who happened to be there. And, and, and they were murdered. Yeah. By this one guy. Yeah. And the guy got away with it for like 10 years. Yeah. But the, the freaky thing is that TV show America's, called America's, America's Most, Most Wanted, Wanted. Yeah. got the guy. Yeah. Because you, you knew who did it. Oh, yeah. Now, how did you know he was the guy who killed your mom? Well, I kind of put two and two together. I mean, right. the guy had a gun in my head a couple of week, you know, weeks ago. Oh, earlier. he did. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, there was a point where um, he had broken into the house and held, you know, kind of held me up and, like, handcuffed me and, like, basically got pretty violent. And then let me go. Uh-huh. Who was this guy? I mean, was well, he, was I mean, were, were they broken up at the time? All yeah. this was, yeah. a, See, so this was, was one of those this things. Was he was like, so in love with her that if, no, if he couldn't have her, no one else could. I, yeah. I mean... That's what you would think. I mean, there is no logical explanation for something like that. Yeah. But, I mean, I think in that irrational thinking, that's what yeah. was going on. The guy's on. locked up in prison now. Yeah. Have you ever been able to say to this guy, why'd you take my mother from me? Um, no. 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 I mean, because I don't, I don't think that any answer he could give me to that yeah, what good would be is it satisfied. Gonna do you? It's, yeah, yeah, it's going to be satisfactory. Did guitar save you? Like, were you like one of those kids who just like sat in his room and played guitar when all yeah. this happened? I started at 11, so I kind of had that as an avenue. Oh, all right. When you're that age, or for me, you don't know where to go with that kind of stuff. No. You know? and, and you don't know who to talk to. You kind of don't even have the dialogue to talk to anybody about that kind of thing. I mean, it's just so overwhelming. Right. And so. I just kind of turned to music. You know, to me, to come back from something like that, after your mom is killed, yeah. your aunt, I yeah. mean, just it's like your whole family, and, and I guess your dad was Do distant. Do you have brothers and sisters? No, no. God That's it. Lord. Yeah, my, No, my dad was there. He just, you know, this, you know, he loved this woman, and so, you know, we were both kind of like... Devastated. Yeah, we were both devastated. And I Was think, your whole life uprooted in the sense also that you had to move and... Uh, yeah, where'd you go? Well, my parents were divorced, and I was living with my mother. Right. And um, I ended up just moving in with my dad, which right. was in the same city. And mm -hmm. and the you know the weird thing about it, and like some a connection I made years and years later, which was um, I I used to spend Wednesday evenings with my dad. Right. And for some reason, he couldn't see me one Wednesday, and he saw me on a Thursday instead. Right. And that's when this happened. Wow. And oh. You could have been there. And if I was, yeah. And if that little chance didn't happen, I probably wow. would have gotten killed too. If you hadn't gone to visit your father. Right. So, and I kind of believe, you know, I mean, and it's it's unfortunate it's taken me years and, you know, I had to create much more trauma <laughs> in order to get to this place for somehow, you know. Yeah, I mean, because you went like, and, and understandably, yeah. you went like crazy from this. Yeah, and yeah. I understand that, uh, the drugs and all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you something about the drugs and all that stuff. And, and I appreciate, you know, you say, suggesting understandably I, I went to that. Absolutely. At the same time, though, I I can confirm that there was part of me that used that trauma as an excuse to pretty much get away with whatever I wanted. Right. right. So you, you said, oh, I mean? yeah, I, I'm allowed to do drugs because hey, my, my mom was killed. killed. And right. whatever else, you know, yeah. oh, yeah. poor me, I'm, you know, I've had this, tor you know, this horrible thing and, like, you can excuse this, you can excuse that. And it, it took a lot of damage, you know, inflicted upon myself. Yeah, I'll Before. say, I mean, I was reading some of the stuff that, uh, I mean, I don't know where we got all this stuff from. Maybe some of it's not true. You tell me, okay? Yeah, let's yeah. clear it up. All right. Your heroin addiction got so bad, you had sores on your face that exploded, and no one would even go near <laughs> you and stuff. Oh. Yeah. 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 I mean, here you are. You're such a good-looking guy. Yeah, and everything. I wonder how people, you know, because his skin looks perfect. How do <laughs> yeah. people come back? Yeah, how that? do you come back? Like, why do you have not have any scars on your face? Uh, that? Why are you yeah. so lucky? I, you know what? I have no idea. You I don't I, know. I really don't, and I do feel totally blessed and lucky to be able to come back from something like that. Yeah. And you know what? And, and if anything else, it's like, and I hate to sit here and sound like arrogant and like I'm, I've got some message for anybody, but right. the truth of the matter is I was pretty bad and, yeah. and it's possible to come back. If you so came you back, anybody you're... could. Yeah, I hate to say that because that, you know, that implies that I'm as worse, as bad as it gets, right. but I was pretty bad and, you know, and I've discovered that life is a beautiful thing.